Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at an example of using a CSS in JS solution with Next.js. The simplest CSS in JS you're going to encounter is the usage of inline styles in a component's JSX. Let's start with that. In the pages folder, I'm going to create a new page called CSS hyphen in hyphen JS dot JS. Within the file, I'm going to create a simple component function CSS JS, and we are going to return an h2 tag with the text hello world. On this element, we apply inline styles. So style, and we set color as red. So we have applied CSS in JS. Let's export this component and verify the styling in the browser. Export default CSS JS. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash CSS in JS and we should see red colored hello world. Now, although inline styles work, they are not the go-to approach. You might prefer something like styled components or emotion. Let's take a look at styled components in this video. First, install the package. So yarn add styled hyphen components. Once the package is installed, we provide a very simple theme to our application. In underscore app.js, at the top, import theme provider from styled hyphen components. Then we define a very simple theme object. So const theme is equal to an object which contains a colors property, which in turn contains a primary property set to a hex code 355C7D. Now we can wrap this component inside the my app component with the theme provider. On this theme provider, we provide the theme prop which is equal to our theme object. Next, in our CSS JS file at the top, import styled from styled components and then we create a styled component. Let's create a title component. So const title is equal to a styled h1 tag where we set font size to 50 pixels and the color, we're going to use the color from our theme object. Theme, we're going to return theme.colors.primary. In the JSX, let's now return the title. Styled component. If you now go back to the browser, you should see the heading in the hex color specified with a font size of 50 pixels. Our styled component is working as expected. So pretty simple to integrate a CSS in JS solution. Wrap the component in underscore app.js with the theme provider and everything else remains pretty much the same as a typical React app with styled components. All right, I hope you now have a good idea of how to use a CSS in JS solution with Next.js. Let's wind this section up with a quick and short summary in the next video.